Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning back in to Eclectic Explorations. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to help this channel grow and to keep new content coming in. Throughout the world, pets often hold a treasured place in the lives of humans, providing companionship, emotional support, and even serving as status symbols. However, in certain cases, exotic and even regular household pets, when released or escaped into the wild, can adapt, breed, and compete with native species as invasive species who upset the natural pre-existing ecological balance. Today's report will explore five scenarios when pets escaped into the wild and invaded and in some cases even conquered entire ecosystems. The Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed originating on the high Tibetan plateau. Traditionally bred by Tibetan nomads for protection, in the early 2010s, there was rising global interest in the Tibetan Mastiff's impressive appearance and protective qualities grew and therefore the Tibetan Mastiff became not only an exotic pet, but a high status symbol among the wealthy elites of both China and parts of the West as well. Ultimately, the market for the Tibetan Mastiff says pets collapsed and demand for them subsequently fell. And thus, many breeders who comprised mostly of Tibetan nomadic herders abandoned them in remote regions on the Tibetan plateau. As a result, many Tibetan mastiffs went wild and crossbred with the pre-existing local feral dogs to form packs of formidable invasive predators who have now been roaming freely across the landscape for the last half of the decade since the decline of the Tibetan mastiff pet trade. These Tibetan feral dogs prey on native species, scavenge, and pose a direct threat to vulnerable species such as the endangered Tibetan antelope and compete with predators like the snow leopard and Tibetan wolf. Now, when you think of a stray dog, your mind must most likely conjure an image of an emaciated, dingo-looking mongrel who would only pose a threat to a toddler. These Tibetan feral dogs, as a result of their mastiff lineages, often outsize Tibetan wolves in their shared habitats and are bear-like in appearance, and not to mention can challenge a fully grown snow leopard over a carcass. The aggressive behavior of these dogs also poses risks to the Tibetan nomads living in these remote communities. By displacing snow leopards, Tibetan wolves, and even Tibetan brown bears in some scenarios, these feral dogs have now become apex predators in many parts of the regions they inhabit and continue to not only survive, but thrive in the harsh, rugged conditions of the Tibetan plateau. Raccoons were introduced to Japan as pets after the popularity of an anime show, Rascal the Raccoon, in the 1970s. This show featured a very lovable raccoon, and as such, many Japanese fans acquired raccoons as pets. But the animals quickly proved challenging to care for due to their well-renowned intelligence and destructiveness. These owners released them into the wild, inadvertently setting the stage for an invasive species crisis in Japan. Since the 1970s, raccoons have become highly adaptable pests, inhabiting parks, rural areas, and even urban centers. They are particularly damaging to Japanese agriculture and temples where they cause structural damage. With no natural predators, raccoons have spread across Japan, threatening native species, including the Japanese giant salamander and various bird and crustacean amphibian populations, and are virtually apex predators wherever at least there are no bears. Because while the indigenous Japanese raccoon dog or the tanuki can weigh up to at the most 13 pounds, 
raccoons, as opposed to their fluffy, lovable reputation and appearance, can weigh up to 57 pounds for the males and can actually be very formidable, fearsome predators when desperate times call for desperate measures or when the opportunities are so obvious before them. Burmese pythons are native to Southeast Asia and were introduced to the U.S. exotic pet trade. Over the years, many escaped or were released into the Florida Everglades where they found very ideal conditions to thrive. This invasive population has grown rapidly over the last few decades, and Burmese pythons are unfortunately now among the top predators in the Florida Everglades ecosystem. The pythons feed on a wide range of species, including mammals, birds, and reptiles, leading to a dramatic decline in native wildlife populations such as raccoons, bobcats, possums, alligators, and even the endangered Key Largo wood rat. The presence of these pythons disrupts the natural food chain in the Florida Everglades and pose a severe challenge to any conservation efforts in the region. The alligator gar is a large predatory fish native to North America, most commonly associated with the southern part of the United States. It is known for its alligator-like snout, which gives it a distinctive appearance and its immense size. It is often the apex predator in many of the river systems it is native to in the southern United States. It is also believed to be the primary culprit behind many river monster sightings. What you didn't know is that the alligator gar has recently become an invasive species in China, likely introduced through the pet trade or as a curiosity in private menageries Alligator gar have now found their way into local rivers and lakes after being released or escaping captivity. This species is a powerful predator, feeding on local fish, disrupting native aquatic ecosystems. Alligator gar grow rapidly and have no natural predators in China, making it difficult to control their population. In certain areas, they are causing economic harm to local fisheries by preying on commercially valuable species as well as posing a potential risk to humans, especially small children who can often be seen playing along the riverbanks in China, given the size of the alligator gar and its very powerful jaws. The Coatimundi, or the Coati for short, is a relative of the raccoon native to Central and South America. It has now appeared in parts of the United Kingdom where it has been kept as an exotic pet. Coatis are omnivorous, consuming everything from insects to small vertebrates and fruits. As of now, the Coati population in the UK can mostly be found around the grasslands and wooded areas in Cumbria in northwest England, but they have been spotted as far south as Buckinghamshire. Nonetheless, their introduction has led to ecological challenges and British authorities have already classified the Coatimundi as an invasive species in the United Kingdom and have banned further imports due to the threats these animals pose to local biodiversity. Thank you all for watching Eclectic Explorations. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It's the best way to stay in the loop on all our latest videos and it helps support the channel so we can keep bringing you new stories and insights. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the new one.